Hello guys! Today I show you how to make this simple looking dog sling and here are the supplies that you will need. You will need two things to make this. Uh, first, you need big round ring. I got this at Joann's. It's only $3 to $4. Um, I'll put link on my description. And you will need two yards of fabric. I got this fabric called Sear Sucker. It's airy and light. I thought it might be perfect for spring and summer. Um, you can use any kind of fabric, but I prefer um, cotton that is not stretchy. And you will also need sewing machine. This project is very simple, but it will be very hard if you decided to do the sewing by hand. Um, so I will explain to you how this is going to work by drawing. So the fabric is two yards. I wrapped around diagonally on my chest to get an idea how long it will be. I am five feet one inches tall and wear a size small on top. I thought this fabric was too long for me. So I'm going to cut some length. And I'm going to also cut this um, part at the corner too. So all here will be cut off like this. So all this area will be cut off. So here is final explanation. Total length is 62 inches. The corner cut off measurements will be 15 inches by 12 inches. Um, here to here will be 22 inches. So then the total width is 44 inches. So I drew the measurement on fabric and I'm just cutting right now. The measurement was just for the reference. If you're taller or your size is bigger than mine, uh, you probably have to make it longer. But however, this will be adjustable so you don't really have to worry about the length too much. So I have cut out the fabric. I double fold ham and ironed it and pinned it. To explain easier, I made small version of the fabric. So this part I made it thicker. And this part I made it thinner. So this thick part is a little bit more than an inch and thin part is about an half inch so this part will be thicker and this part will be thinner and here this part you can do about an inch this is all going to be hidden so you don't really have to be exact let's sew all the hems that you have folded in to see how it comes out. So this is what it's going to look like when you finish with sewing. I'm going to fold this, fold this part about half like this and also opposite side too. And now it's going to be look like this. And at the end, I'm going to fold one side about 2.5 inches or to 3 inches. And fold this side too. And keep folding it until they meet each other. Thank you. 
I made it about three inches, but if you want it thicker or thinner, you can do whatever you want. I'm going to pin this and do the other side same way as this one. So you will be end up something like this. Now I'm going to stitch this here and here to secure. Um, do the both side. Okay, so I'm done with the sewing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two rings and fold the end and sew it again. I made double stitches to just to make sure. Now just take this end and bring it here. Put this end into two rings and take out from one ring like this and you're finished. Um, you can always adjust the pouch size by folding in or folding out the extra fabric that are inside. You can make it bigger or smaller pouch by doing this. When the sling is folded, it's very lightweight. Um, you can easily put it in your bag or something. Now I'm going to show you how to use this. So this is how you will use it. You can adjust the length from here. Wear this diagonally close to your chest and put your dog or cat into the pouch. Come here. Let's go. And look inside. There is a ending corner. This one. Okay, and pull it out. And put it onto the ring to give your dog more support. Same as the other one. Just put it through the two rings and take it out from the one ring and it will secure like this. Now the dog is in good position. The butt is here and this is how it will look like. Now she is calm and comfortable. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit like button and subscribe. See you later.